Manitou, Geronimo's head warrior, the man commissioned by the chief of the Apache Nation to carry out his grim acts of violence. Arizona Territory, early morning, July 26, 1884. The terror ended when Geronimo agreed to a truce in order to discuss a new peace treaty with the United States Army. The first stagecoach in many weeks left Tombstone for Bisbee as the stage line resumed its regular schedule. Mid-morning, Bocatilla Pass. of Geronimo look like the games of children. An actual account from the pages of my newspaper, the Tombstone Epitaph. This is the way it happened. In the town too tough to die. Tombstone Territory.
afternoon, July 26, 1884. Hear that the Army's going to help us bury our dead. I'm sorry about your brother, Hopkins. You can't blame the Army for Geronimo's treachery. You had no right to order the cavalry back to Fort Huachuca. It wasn't my decision. Yeah. We'll dig new graves while the Army passes the buck. If I had my way, I'd take a patrol into the hills right now, and I wouldn't come back until I got Geronimo. You might come back with the wrong man, Mac. What do you mean? I just don't figure that Geronimo would violate a truce that he himself requested. Well, whoever it was, this will end the peace talks with the Apaches. Yeah. You sent the story? Geronimo's name will be headlined from coast to coast. Well, that'll please him. He likes to see his name in print. The day may come when he won't be so pleased with his publicity. <laughs> A telegraph station, 20 miles south of Tombstone. Send this to Tombstone. Anyone in particular? For the man who writes newspapers. Harris Clyborne, you know him? Send it. Sure. Sure. Uh, you want it to go just like this? Send it. You write pretty good English. I was a prisoner of the army for two years. In the army, I also learned the speech of the wire. Send only what I write. Time. We send message to him. You can you can have that picture if you want. Captain, Clay wants to see you. He's in the epitaph office. What's up? Something about a telegram. You want to see me, Clay? Yeah, Mac. You ever hear the name Monitou? Yeah. It's one of Geronimo's lieutenants. <sighs> well, this is from Monitou. He's furious because I credited Geronimo with that stagecoach massacre. He wants to meet you at noon today at the Johansson farm? Yeah, Mac, can you tell us anything about him? Well, nothing good. He's a fanatic, jealous of Geronimo as head of the Apache Nation. Mm -hmm. You gonna meet him? Yeah. I wouldn't. A meeting will be under a flag of truce. That won't mean much to monitor. But if he is jealous of Geronimo, he won't try anything against the man who can give him a little publicity. Say, wait a minute. Maybe he wouldn't recognize me. Yeah, and then again, maybe he might. He doesn't even know us. Us? Oh, yeah, I'll be back to pick you up in half an hour. And Mac, if we're not back by sundown, send out the cavalry and the undertaker.
they won't come. They'll show. We've been under observation for the last two miles. I didn't see anyone. You will. Off your horses! <laughs> Set off your horses. Surrender your guns. Follow me. Come, and you do not bring the soldiers. This is wise. We come in peace, but you take our guns. We do not need guns for talk. You got a rifle? I can be trusted. What do you want, Monitor? Your white general will not sign peace with Geronimo. He will sign a peace treaty with me. Geronimo is chief of renegade Apaches. Geronimo is an old woman. Not fit for ruling over sheep. He is no longer chief of the Apache. It is Manitou. Come. Look. And remember what you see. Write of it in your newspaper. Let the world know of the strength of Manitou. The reign of Manitou has begun. There will be no peace between the white man and the Apache unless your general meets with me. This is the word of Manitou. Afternoon, July 26, 1884. Joe? Any news from Monitou? Uh, no, no, no. The patrol's back in yet. It'll take the Army a year to check every canyon between here and Fort Huachuca. Yeah, I know it. Why doesn't General Crook meet with Monitou? There'll be more killings. If... No, that's out of the question, Joe. You give in to Monitou, it would encourage every other renegade Apache to follow in his footsteps. So what do we do? Keep count of the dead and wonder when he's going to attack Tombstone? Joe, I need some help. You got any sheet steel? Sure. <clears throat> Scrap left over from a mining job I did. Oh. Set it up against the wall, will you? Got in mind. Well, I've been kicking an idea around all morning. Let's see if it works. Well, you've wasted your bullets and dented up my steel. Now what? How much of this you got on hand? Uh, a couple of sheets left over. Well, can you get any more? Well, I've got quite a stack of it at the Lucky Cuss Mine. How much do you want? Would it be possible to line a stagecoach with sheet steel? A whole stagecoach? That's right. Oh, well, the lower half. I guess so. But it wouldn't be practical. Make the coach so heavy, you'd never get up any speed. But it would stop bullets. Well, there's no guarantee. There might be some weak spots and... Hey, what are you up to? Here's a rough sketch of what I got in mind. There. The interior of the coach, the driver's well. 
You're certainly no artist. If I get you the steel and some men to help you, how long would it take you to do the job? A mm, couple of days. Oh, no, I need this ready to roll by noon tomorrow. Oh, that's impossible. It's the only way I can think of to draw him out. Aren't it you? That's right. You give me the men of the steel. I'll get you your coach. Noon tomorrow. <laughs> McIntyre back yet? No. What are you setting up? Special edition. Giving the facts and figures on Monitor. Oh, forget about it. I got something better for you, special edition. I a big headline and a story announcing the arrival of General Crook in Tombstone. And say that he'll be leaving tomorrow aboard the stagecoach to meet with Geronimo and to sign the peace treaty. Wait a minute, And Clay. you add that you'll be aboard the stagecoach with the general as a special correspondent covering this historic occasion. Get it out as quick as you can. Clay, I didn't see General Crook arrive. Well, neither did I, but don't let that stop you from printing the story. Just like that. Devote an entire edition of the epitaph to a fake story. Well, that's not a fake story. Call it bait for Monitou, and we'll be ready if he takes it. I'll explain it to you later. Right now, I gotta see a blacksmith about an iron stagecoach. Good. Iron stagecoach. White man says of money too. Read. General Crook has come to Tombstone. Tomorrow at noon he takes a coach. And he will talk peace with Geronimo. Geronimo! He does not mention your name. Geronimo! Tomorrow, we ride. General Crook will meet with Monitou. But there will be no peace. Well, here it is. The heaviest, clumsiest, most impractical stagecoach in the world. Solid steel, with doors to match. Watch this. Safe and snug as a baby in its cradle. I got up this idea all by myself. Well, what do you think? Ingenious. I'll drive. You and Harris and my deputy will ride inside. Then it's up to Manitou. If he attacks. Oh, he'll attack. The chance of assassinating both General Crook and this, this double-crossing editor here will be a temptation that he won't be able to resist. When does the general arrive? He doesn't. I'm counting on you to impersonate him. Gentlemen, I never turned down a promotion. I've got a personal score to settle with Montague, my brother. Glad to have you with us.
Wait till I get closer. Surrender. a very pretty sight, even when you win. Quite a mob down at the livery stable. Yeah? Hoskins is charging two bits a head for a close look at the iron coach. <laughs> Are you gonna have it dismantled? Uh-uh. Well, you won't have any need for it now that your animal has signed that peace treaty. Yeah, but the stage company says we can keep it in mothballs just in case Geronimo changes his mind. What are you looking for? I'm looking for Monitu's name. It's in there. He wanted recognition. I've given it to him on page four in the obituary column. Whistle me up a memory. Whistle me back where I want to be. Whistle a tune that'll carry me to Tombstone Territory. If your past has run up Foul of the law, it's a handy place to be. Cause your future's just as good as your draw in Tombstone Territory. Whistle me up a memory. Whistle me back where I wanna be to Tombstone Territory. 